So, hey everyone. Isn't it awkward when you change your channel name in the middle of an ongoing series? And you have an inter uh, yeah, introduction from uh, your previous name in the series, yeah. Funny how that happens. So I have really good news. Uh, I'm currently Mason Deluxe at the start of recording this, but I was thinking of, like, changing my name for, like, a fourth or fifth time, because that would be epic and really funny and totally not throw people off. And I kind of want to see how people react. I was thinking of, like, something powerful. Like, uh, Mason Seven Emeralds. I'm a lot more energetic than this, like, than happy than this music should, like, let me be. I don't know. So, I forgot to save last time, and I lost, like, an hour of progress. Isn't that amazing? So, I had to replay up to this point. And sort of play through a bit of this again, but I don't mind because Torna slaps. I love Torna. It's really good. I now have the means to separate my game audio and my mic audio, so no more mic static. I was experimenting with the Elgato audio at first. Which, honestly, it peaks really hard on the default mic settings. And it sort of like made my audio really staticky for no reason. And it would persist for a bit and then go away, which was really annoying. Don't have to tell me twice. Thank you, Jin, for backing me up. <laughs> God, I... It's been months since uh, my last recording session. It might not seem that way because of how these come out weekly, but I spend so much time editing these and looking back at my footage and seeing, like, what I could do better and all that. I'm just, like, coming back to this after forever, all this scenery is beautiful. Especially after playing some other games. I played Genshin Impact and, oh my god... That game looks alright, but it's nowhere near as fine and detailed as this. I think this looks a lot better. I think this art style is going to age way better than something like that. Same with Age of Calamity. Like, I love Breath of the Wild cell shaded sort of art style, but they have, it's a Warriors game, so they have to sort of tone down the environments. What level am I, 15? Okay. Yeah, they got to tone down the environments in that. To handle everything, and oh my god, the music here. It's so good. I'm so happy to hear the Gourmet music again. Yes. Oh, this game is a treat. I'm, something of an expert. I'm just, I'm so glad I'm through that initial batch. But yeah, first off, I want to thank everyone who's been supporting this series thus far. I'm really happy people are watching and they seem to be genuinely enjoying. I've had multiple Discord DMs uh, privately talking about topics that I've addressed in the series and people saying that they're enjoying these and I'm really happy with that. And they say that they often like the topics and discussion and how I approach them and then we often discuss them a bit further. That's exactly why I make content to begin with, and I hope to continue with that with this batch of episodes. I just love talking about a bunch of different topics, giving my takes on them while just playing this really nice game that I'm really enjoying. Yeah, for some reason, I think it's because they wanted to have that last part be more serious. With the sad music and all of that, but Laura's not saying anything when she collects things. I don't know. Peaceable Adventurer. Hello. Oh no, not the crust tips. Yeah, I think I accepted this quest in the last episode, but I love how these... How this, like, swampy area looks. Oh, it's so good. We can take care of it if you want. This game's art style, it was a little weird to me at first, but it's just like all the fine details and how the environments look and like the worlds are so good. And I think it helps that this was developed after Xenoblade 2. I still think that game looks great, but it's clear they have more experience going into this. And it's really fun to look at. Though... 
This episode is going to get a little more negative here, because there's something I do want to address. It's very serious, and how does he expect me to take care of these level 36 crust tips? <laughs> it's Nintendo. I'm just going to say it, it's Nintendo. A lot of people are upset at them lately. I think what sort of started getting everyone, like, I think the catalyst that, like, started it subtly that people weren't, like, extremely upset about, they were just, like, disappointed at this one thing, was the Mario 3D All-Stars collection and the limited release window. So it's only available for a six-month total period, and it's a full-price game, so if you want to get it, you can't just have a passing interest in it and say, oh, I'll get it later. Even the digital release is only available for six months. So that makes this game the Scalper's Wet Dream, because you can't get it at all past a certain point. What if I get a new Switch or something, and I have to... I wonder if there's like a transfer feature, but let's say there isn't, or let's say something happens to my original Switch. It gets stolen, it won't power on, something like that. Then I am out of luck, unless I go to a scalper and I'm like, hey, here's my money. Here's an egregious amount of money, please. I, I just want to play funny Yahoo, Whippy, Waha, man game where I jump around and they're like okay cool and then they hand me the game like I don't want to have to do that this game should be available for much longer so I just need to keep heading south both with this discussion and in game I guess <laughs> and they also did it with the fire emblem one localization shadow dragon and the blade of light where they said hey this is available for a limited time it's much less of an issue because it's only six dollars but the collector's edition i cannot find one for the life of me outside of scalpers reselling it for insane amounts of money so i have to wait for a restock i have to be on top of that restock i have to be there before other people in the same boat as me and other scalpers it's just it's a mess it's like, you must get it now, or miss out. Like, that's what upsets me, and it upsets me because it works. Like, it's just a cheap tactic to get a lot of money, and to get people who may only have a passing interest at most to buy your product. I'm something of an expert. Yeah, um, Lore is still not saying anything. So I'm wondering if we get a third character as a party member. I would imagine so. And I'm still thinking about how the elements are going to be integrated into the gameplay. Oh, it's so hard to just go south. I have to go up these tree branches, I believe. And no, I am not supposed to be at the same level as these enemies. Don't worry. It's just like, just like in the original game, Gormot has a lot of different unique living organisms of many different levels, so there's going to be a lot of overleveled enemies in places I shouldn't be. And honestly, I think because I have enemy aggression off, it's going to make it easier to get lost. It's sort of the same issue I had in Sonic Robo Blast 2 when I played as Tails. Like, because I could skip huge parts of the level, and because I didn't have to worry about certain things, it made it so much easier to accidentally get lost for minutes on end, and then I started blaming the level design. I think I should go back to that game and just, like, play as Sonic. And sort of understand the game fundamentally first before I start playing as other characters. I can do stuff like that, like, skip the annoying stuff I don't like. So if I stay on this path, I should be fine. I don't know how I went on that whole side adventure, but hey, it was fun. That's what matters. Time where you have fun is not time wasted. I'll just keep going this way, and I'll talk more about Nintendo soon, once I have more time to look at my own notes. I think the gold means that I haven't collected there yet. I just miss her saying, you're coming with me, treasure. That's like one one of my favorite things when editing was hearing that. Laura's a funny gal. Look, fresh graves over here. This kind soul must have dug them all. <sighs> well,
What's wrong? Should... Should we maybe bury him, too? Huh? Hmm. Yes, let's. God, I said I would look at my notes, I didn't really get a chance to, because this game does this really good thing that uh, not a lot of games I play do, called Immersion. <laughs> it just, it, it does the good story thing, and it's like, oh, be sad, and then it's like, whoa, it worked, I'm sad now. The game made me sad. And now I feel all bad. Aww. I love stories that make me sad or make me cry. Like, I value those a lot, and I try to seek those out when I can. I'll just, like, look at the scenery. Oh, the orange golden tint of the sky. Surround them! Huh? Ardanian troops, Imperial Guard. Thieving scum. Don't think you're gonna get away with your dirty deeds. What? No! We just... Problem, Captain? Same ones who attacked the village, perhaps. Drivers and jewels? Yes, ma'am. You lot! Stay here and assist the Lady Bridget. Son! Oh no, I got taught. Wait, no, she just ran away, and I have terrible attack range, that's right. There we go. I don't know if I toppled or it- wait, no, it was me. Okay, cool. The animation is just weird. If I- oh my god, I for- oh, I forgot about that voice line. Also, speaking of like Jin looking like Sephiroth, Sephiroth in Smash, isn't that crazy? He's not playable as of recording, but I'm so excited to play as him. I'm gonna build up that level four, and I'm just gonna use it to dodge an attack whenever I see like a attack name or something. Okay, it's time. Nice dodge. 
And then the after image. Oh my god, it's so good. I love this attack. So now we have elements, and we have blade combos. Ooh. And they even streamlined the display. I am super happy about that. So yeah, this is, this is pretty similar to Xenoblade 2. So Adam, if I command him with ZL, will use Volt 2. And if you bring it to stage 3, it freezes the timer and like does a lot of damage at the end and adds an element to them. So yeah, 16 routes in total. They seem similar to the base game because Fire, Fire, Light is a combo there as well. It's why blades like Pyra, Crosset, Mithra, Shulk, uh, Dagus, all of them combo so well into each other elementally. And why I see a lot of people use Light or Fire for Poppy Cutie Pie in the base game. I wonder if, uh, okay, so Haze is Wind, so if I can combo into Wind at the end. Oh, she's just dead. 